Let me show you how to use one of the most important Excel functions of all time in four easy steps, and that is obviously the if function. In this example, we have just a list of orders and categories and prices, and I want to enrich this data. I want to bring in more data. I want to generate more data for this spreadsheet. And instead of doing that manually, I will do it automatically with the if function. Now, in simple terms, this is what the if function does equal if open parenthesis like you would write any other function in Excel and then a condition. And the condition could be something like if that specific cell is equal to the path category, then something happens. But if the condition is not met, so if whatever you're writing in the condition doesn't happen, then something else happens. Close parenthesis. And that's actually, at least in my words, the syntax of the if function. Now, in this specific example, it could be more like equal if open parenthesis, if cell C2 is equal to bath, then the freight type should be special. And if it's not the case, if C2 is not equal to bath, then something else happens. And that is write normal, close parenthesis. In Excel, it's quite easy, just write if open parenthesis, that is step number one. Step number two is to do the logical test argument of the if function, and that is the condition I mentioned with my own words. And the logical test is typically something like if the if cell C2 is greater than 100, in this case, that's not uh, relevant uh, here. In this case, it's like equal bath like this. Oh, sorry. So if cell C2 contains the text bath, then the logical test is true, which, mean, which means that the condition is met. And then we need to write what happens then, and then something happens, what is that? And that is that it should write, the cell here, E2, should write special, and we need to write it that in, in double quotes because it's text. And if it's not the case, if the logical test is false, meaning the C2 cell doesn't contain the bathroom category, the bath category, then something else happens and that could be that the um, text instead should be normal. Like this, hit enter, like this, and copy that formula down. And that is how you enrich your data using a logical function like the if function here instead of doing it manually. So now we can see that the special freight type uh, applies to all orders where the category is equal to the bath here. And it's not the case in the bedroom and the living room categories. If you like this video so far, please hit the subscribe button below to support the channel. Thank you very much. But there are plenty of advanced use cases for the if function and those go into something that is called nested if functions where you bring together multiple if functions and that gives you a great amount of flexibility of putting logic inside your spreadsheets and you can learn all about that in this video up here. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.